Like many other parents, perhaps you've been asking which parent determines the gender of the baby to be born. Before we answer this question, let us recapitulate the mechanism behind the sex determination. At the point of ejaculations, millions of sperms, yes millions, are released which then attempt to move through the birth canal, cervix and the uterus to reach developing tubes. For the sperms, this is quite a long journey and many are lost along the way. Out of those original millions, up to a hundred will attempt to penetrate the female egg. And whichever male sperm does it successfully will fertilize the female egg, will form a zygote or a fertilized egg. There are two types of male sperms, those containing X chromosome or girls making chromosomes and those containing Y chromosomes responsible for the male gender. But there is only one type of female eggs if they all contain the X chromosome, defined as the female sex chromosome. Male sperms are also known as male reproductive cells and female eggs of ov are also known as female reproductive cells. Unlike other human cells, reproductive cells are different from other cells as they contain only 23 chromosomes each instead of 46. When fertilization happens, the 23 chromosomes of the male sperm combine with the 23 chromosomes and they form a zygote of fertilized egg which has 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. The zygote will then develop into a baby. <laughs> Since reproductive cells contain only 23 chromosomes and that sperm cells can contain either X chromosome or Y chromosome also known as boys making chromosomes and that female egg or ovum always contain X chromosomes only. And since fertilization is assured by only one male sperm, sex determination depends on whether that sperm contains an X or girl making chromosome or a Y chromosome or boy making chromosome. If the male sperm contains a Y chromosome, this will result in a baby boy. If the male sperm contains X chromosomes, this will result in a baby girl. So it's all a matter of chance. <coughs> Which sperm reaches the female egg first and then successfully penetrated? And currently, studies have not determined factors surrounding the chance of having either a baby boy or a baby girl. It's all random. So when asking who determines the sex of the baby, it's less about who does it and more about how it happens. But if in theory both parents contribute almost unequally to the construction of the baby, and if the pregnancy is naturally carried from the first minute to delivery by the mother alone, takes the male sperm that fertilizes the female egg to determine the baby's sex. And we are talking here about the sperm, but not the man. The female egg will always have an X chromosome, so it's up to the male sperm to determine the sex of the baby. The sperm but not the father, of course the mother neither. In other words, it's the male sperm that determines the baby's gender, but no one is responsible for the baby's sex. 
It's all a random biological fact. It's a matter of chance whether you get a baby boy or a baby girl. The likelihood for all couples to have a baby boy or a girl is equal to all couples. All couples have 50% chance to have a baby girl and 50% chances to have a baby boy. And there is nobody to thank or blame about this. There is no one who wins or loses. And currently there is no proven method, no food, no vitamin, no drink, no medication that make a couple have a baby girl or a baby boy. It just happens. And why that a baby girl or a baby boy, they must all be appreciated as they will all bring joy to the family. And if you are lucky to have that baby boy or baby girl, be grateful. Remember, many couples are struggling with infertility and many others with recurrent pregnancy losses. Always be grateful. You are lucky. I'm Dr. Eric. This channel delivers information that promotes health and well-being. All information is told for educational and informational purposes. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video soon. Bye. Come in.